be. My name is Adam Stonebreaker, and I'd like to talk uh, about props in this video. I have a, a few around me here. In Yin Yoga, we uh, utilize props often uh, for specific reasons. In yoga, sometimes there can be this belief that uh, props are for beginners or sort of like training wheels for people, but this is not true. In, in my experience uh, with my teachers, they often, as they get more advanced, uh, advanced, they use more props. So as we get to know our bodies more, the more skillful we become in, in utilizing props and, and uh, uh, various assists. The main reason we use props in yin yoga is to allow for more relaxation in the body. Um, and so we don't want body parts kind of hanging in space because the likelihood of, of injury uh, rises when we do that. And I'll explain a little bit more about that later. But let's just talk about what kind of props you might see when you go into a yoga studio. So the first one, the most basic one you'll, you'll probably see is, is what we call a block. And there's typically two types of blocks you'll see. This is a, a cork block, it's rather heavy. And then this is what we call a foam block. I actually prefer the foam blocks just because there's a little bit more give here. So it takes the weight of the body and adapts to the weight of the body. These are, are very dense and there's not much give, but they, they work uh, very well. Now with a prop, there are uh, three, or with a block rather, there are three levels. So I usually say this is the first level, the second level, and the third level. As we go through practices later, you'll, you'll see how we, we actually use these. I just wanna introduce you to the props themselves. Now something that's, often common that we would use uh, these props for would be uh, uh, something typically with the legs. Uh, as I said before, we don't want limbs kind of in joints hanging in space. So if I'm doing something like uh, we call this, uh, um, it has many names, but fire log pose or uh, shoelace posture. For some people, when they, when they do this pose, their, their knee is going to be hanging in the air like this. So one way one way we can uh, support this is just to put a block underneath this knee and this just allows you to relax more. Because if you think about it, if my knee is just hanging in space like this, some of the, the tissues in here are having to support that and it's, it's very difficult to relax. So you just place that block underneath there and it changes the experience completely. Another one that you'll often see this for is something we call butterfly where the soles, the feet are together. For some people, their knees are gonna be up like this or down really low. But if they're up like this, I often recommend to put blocks uh, underneath the knees. And this just helps you to, to relax much more, much more deeply. Yeah. Another prop you'll often see is uh, a strap. And uh, it's basically just a long uh, piece of material that we will use for, for various things, typically to hook a foot or to uh, keep the arms a specific distance. There's various ways uh, that, we use, that we use the strap. And then the last one I'll show you is just what we call bolsters, something like this. We'll use these to lay back on or when doing full, forward folds to support the chest, things like that. Now I introduce you to all these props, just so you kind of have an idea of what the yoga props are, but you don't necessarily have to go out and buy all of these props. It can get, it can get rather expensive. Uh, so if you're at home, you can just use everyday uh, items to support the body. So instead of using a, a yoga strap, you could use a belt or a robe tie or some type of rope, whatever you have lying around that's gonna be supportive. Instead of a block, you could use uh, a, a thick blanket that you fold many times. It's not gonna be as supportive, but it'll work. Maybe you have like a, a book <laughs> that's, the, that's, that's that big or, or thick, you could use that. And then with bolsters, you know, these are just kind of fancy pillows. So a couch cushion or a, uh, a bed pillow, whatever kind of cushion you have, something that's soft and supportive will work just fine. Something that's important to know when we're talking about props and, and utilizing the props is that every body is different. Every single person that we come across is not just different in personality, in their face, 
we can identify people by their, their, their thumbprint or fingerprints. We're also different uh, in our body structure uh, as far as the bones go and the joints. And so when we do yoga postures, everybody's gonna look completely different and they should look different because everybody is different. Often uh, when we see yoga portrayed in the media, it's some tiny person who's really athletic at, that can put their leg behind their head. But that's not what yoga is about. Yoga is meant to be accessible. Every body type, every person, every age should be able to do yoga. If you don't feel stretchy enough to do yoga or you don't feel whatever enough to do yoga, just know that that's that's a, a, something put on by yoga culture that isn't necessarily a healthy thing. You can do yoga and you should do yoga. You know, if you think about sports, and uh, if you say if you're watching highlights of a basketball game, you never see highlights of them doing, f making free throws or doing like the really basic things. Or if you're watching uh, highlights of, of football. You don't see the, the small little things that make up most of the game. What you see are highlights. You see the dunks, you see the touchdowns, you see the big things that are going to draw lots of attention. It's the same thing with yoga in the, in the media. You're going to see the people doing handstands, you're going to see people putting their legs behind their heads and things like that. That's a very, 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 very small percentage of people who will ever be able to do those things. Yoga is meant to enhance our everyday life and every single person should be able to uh, have access to yoga. So the reason we do yoga is we don't, we, we don't not do yoga because we're not stretchy enough. We go to yoga so we become more flexible. We go to yoga to become, become stronger. We go to yoga to bring peace to our lives and to our minds. That is why uh, we do yoga, uh, not to be able to put our, our legs behind our head. So you can do yoga and uh, I recommend that you do. <laughs> Thank you for watching.